Hi, I'm Brad Feeks with the Estes Group, and I'm here today with Keith Carmen from Unified AR. Now, Estes Group is going to be hosting a presentation, a full day uh, virtual summit on November 30th on the subject of integrations and the P21 ecosystem. And Keith from Unified will be giving a presentation. They'll be giving a presentation on AR automation for P21 and some of the efficiencies and the innovation that can come along with that. So thank you first, Keith, for, for staying coming with me today so we could talk a little bit about uh, your session and your company. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself and, and your company and, and how you work within the, the distribution industry at large. Sure. Well, first of all, thank you, Brad. It's, uh, it's nice to be here. We appreciate this opportunity. So just to share a little bit about Unified AR, we're a fintech company. We've been around for nearly six years, and uh, we cater specifically to the wholesale distributor and manufacturing verticals. And with regards to AR, we've built a very unique uh, solution that helps customers provide added service value uh, to their customers by giving them the convenience to be able to pay electronically online anytime through any type of electronic medium such as PC, laptop, smartphone, or tablet. Our company is employee owned and we're made up of a group of individuals that has a long tenure within the payments industry as well as wholesale or distributed industry and uh, financial services. So that's a little bit about us. We're located in uh, uh, Franklin, Tennessee, uh, and our solution is uh, cloud-based. And uh, I'm really excited to talk to you about it and how we're helping companies throughout the, uh, the country, as well as in Canada, uh, with regards to automating their, uh, their AR and getting better efficiencies. Awesome. Tennessee, you already got it. You already my good books, good barbecue there. <laughs> so then when you're talking about AR uh, automation, kind of the problems they solve, a couple of things I heard here, it sounds like efficiencies, um, streamlining process. What are some of the big problems you find that you're solving for your customers by implementing your solution? Yeah, that's a great question. So first of all, our solution is specific to uh, payments from terms customers. So customers that pay in the arrears, right? So companies may have uh, various terms for various uh, customers. And what we've put together is an automated fashion to help those companies to improve getting invoices out to those customers, receiving those payments, and then having those payments automatically post within a P21 cash application. So it's the moving away from you know, the paper-based, labor-intensive, time-intensive processes of getting invoices out, once you receive the payments, processing those payments, and then from that point, once you process to reconcile those payments and get them into the uh, P21 cash application and to balance the GLs. What we've done is we've streamlined that whole workflow in an automated fashion through our integration between Unified AR and um, the customer's P21 ERP system. Nice. It seems like uh, when I talk to a lot of our, our partners in the field, a lot of integration ends up being some form of automation. It seems like the two go hand in hand, that if you're automating processes that could be done manually but don't need to be, you're, you're moving folks farther ahead. Um, now, I guess one question I end up, we're still talking about the pandemic, you know, three years later, um, I'd say with, with the distribution community and the manufacturing probably as much, uh, immense disruption uh, across the industry. Uh, what, what, from your standpoint, in terms of the AR side of the world, sure. what kind of changes have you seen as a, as a function of the pandemic? Or has that left your area largely unscathed? Uh, no, that's a great question. And I, you know, I, I believe that the pandemic has touched everyone in some form or fashion. The two most common things that we see uh, with our client base and prospects is that they're getting uh, requests from their customers as to how can I pay my outstanding invoices electronically? Uh, because, you know, uh, we found within the industry, there's still a very large majority that are receiving payments via paper check. And that's a whole different story with regards to, again, risk and manual processing and things of that nature. So one, uh, we'd like to be able to pay you online, okay? That's number one. And the other is, um, how can we get paid quicker? They've seen, you know, with regards to um, 
some delays in payments simply because of the slowing of the post office, uh, bank lockboxes with regards to employees, things of that nature. And then another thing that we've seen, I guess it's three, is um, the authorization of cards. And with regards to uh, the supply chain, uh, with the lack of having things out in the inventory, once a card has been authorized, how that authorization drops off and it creates some havoc internally within the organization with regards to uh, uh, shipping and receiving payment, when to do that, when not to do that. So that's all a part of what we provide. It's not only with regards to our technology, but we have the staff that works through all those business rules uh, with each and every company. They, you know, there's always uniqueness in every organization, even though there's some commonality. Uh, so the one thing that we really try to lean in on is to tailor things specific to each of our customers and their prospects specific AR needs. Hmm. Sure. Now, in terms of kind of broader, mac broader macroeconomic concerns, I hear two things coming from a lot of our customers. One is fear of a recession. And the other is the challenges of inflation. Now, I think these both tend to drive a lot of cost concerns and such. So in terms of like how you uh, approach your own customer base and your, your opportunities out there, how do you tailor your own messaging relative to kind of these big factors that are playing right now? Yeah, so the nice thing that what we have as part of our solution set, and we're very modular in this, we have a component uh, that's called surcharge as a strategy. And surcharge as a strategy has been uh, well accepted within the card industry. Today, 47 out of 50 states um, approve and have laws in place for B2B payments for someone that's issued, for, for a customer that's paying with a credit card, for you as the merchant to assess a surcharge. Fortunately, uh, what we've done is we've got a completely automated intuitive solution where there, there's nothing with respects to what the company has to do in, in assessing the surcharge to their cardholders. So we work with folks uh, about that strategy, about that technology, how to get the message out to their customers, as well as giving the customers uh, options not to pay with a credit card so they can avoid that surcharge. Mm, and nice. what we've seen uh, with our client portfolio, depending upon the size of the organization with regards to hard dollar savings, we have folks out there that are saving tens of thousands annually, hundreds of thousands annually, as well as millions of dollars annually by uh, implementing surcharge as a strategy. So that's one way that we come in and we help people with regards to the bottom line. The other thing with respects to the automation is that we work with everyone again individually with regards to reallocation of internal resources. So with regards to our uh, automation of technology, uh, we're not saying that uh, there's a reduction with EFTs. If that's something that someone is looking for, obviously that's, that's something that they can think about uh, with regards to the automation that we bring. But the majority of our clients, what they do is they reallocate their resources with regards to uh, other aspects within the organization that, are, that would be more beneficial than just manually posting a payment into a system every day. Sure, yeah, I find the same thing. Finance folks tend to know a lot about the business and its inner working, so that's not a resource that you wanna just uh, cast aside. There's always uh, somewhere that, 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 was, uh, that knowledge can be placed, to be sure. Now, speaking, kind of changing the subject a fair bit, uh, for us and for our clients, we find that security is a big concern when it comes to integrations in general, that you have all these different systems that are coupling together and that require certain amounts of automated handshakes between systems and such, and that creates potentials for uh, security breaches and such. Now, in, in looking at Unified and your program, uh, compliance and security were two things that I saw were were you know, touted pretty strongly. Uh, PCI compliance specifically seems to be a big hitter. Um, can you tell me a little bit about some of the steps that, that Unified has done from a security standpoint? Sure. So um, with regards to the technology aspect of it, I'm definitely not the person to share any of that with you. But I will tell you this, that we use everything that's affordable to us, that's afforded to us within the industry with regards to security and the technology around that. We take it very seriously, obviously. Uh, with regards to PCI compliance, 
what our solution does is basically take our customers out of PCI scope. So we step in and we manage all of that on the behalf of the customer. Mm -hmm. Now the customer would still uh, have to fill out the appropriate uh, surveys depending upon what categories they fall in within, with PCI, but we assist in all of that with regards to our customer support. So I, I could tell you this, it, it's uh, technology and security is at the top of mind with everything that we built and we provide to the organization. Once we get into uh, the opportunity to provide a demo uh, later on this month, we'll talk about it a little bit more in depth. I'll have my sales engineer on the, uh, on the call with me and we'll be able to get a little bit more granular with regards to um, our security and PCI uh, from what I just shared with you. Excellent. Excellent. No, that's exciting. In terms of kind of your, your long-term goals of your product, uh, I'd say in the, in the P21 world where uh, the Profit21 application itself has been kind of morphing over time, it's gone from a two-tier to a three-tier application with a, a middleware server, which has enabled all kinds of API level interactions that weren't necessarily possible at the same level prior, creates a, an opportunity for a lot of different changes and enhancements to the kind of whole ecosystem that wraps around it now. Are there any significant changes or enhancements that you see uh, coming forward in terms of your your product in terms of like new opportunities or new markets you're trying to get or different customer requirements that are surfacing? Absolutely. We've got, uh, we've got a roadmap uh, with regards to enhancements that we, that we follow pretty stringently. Uh, the nice thing with all of the, the majority of the solution and the feature functionality of the overall solution is based upon input from our customers and prospects. So, uh, since we've launched our integration with into the P21 ERP system, we've had many, many enhancements uh, with regards to our offering. The nice thing with respects to our enhancements is that it does not require any additional installs or any changes on, on the side of our customer. Uh, with this being cloud-based, we're able to do that, flag it within the system, and the customer has every option to select what it would like to utilize or not to utilize. Mm. So once we make an enhancement, we provide a notice out to all of our customers as to the enhancement, what it's going to be, when it's going to be there. And we'll even set up a demo and we'll provide them uh, with an overall look of the enhancement and just answer any questions they might have. So, you know, one of the things down the road, uh, we've got some nice... Uh, feature functionalities that really assist well within collections. So uh, we're continuing to expand and broaden that as we continue to move forward and making certain that we're meeting the needs of our customers. Nice, well, that, that's exciting. Kind of on that note, do you see, uh, in terms of uh, crystal balling the future uh, post pandemic, hopefully post recession, are there any other uh, major changes that you anticipate in the, in the distribution world as it relates to payment processing? That's a really good question. Uh, uh, you know, looking at it from not too far out, I just continue to see that um, B2B payments uh, are going to continue to, be, to need to be automated uh, just to uh, make certain you're adding a service value to your customers, convenience, convenience, convenience. And what your folks are gonna see with our demo on November the 30th is just the ease uh, and how their customers are gonna be receiving invoices, how their customers are gonna be receiving statements, how they can view past invoices, past payments, things of that nature, uh, how they can set up automated payments, reoccurring payments. So, um, I think it's more around, you know, providing added service value, the ease and how your customers can make payments. And then the nice thing with respect to uh, how we provide, once those payments are paid, customers getting that immediate uh, confirmation that payment was made and the receipt. And also the manner in how they can uh, access electronic payment. We have multiple ways for every customer to offer up to their customers, um, how they can view their invoices. Uh, the invoices and statements are dynamic, PDFs, HTML uh, formatting. There's so many different really cool options that we provide to everyone. 
we're just trying to stay a little bit ahead of the game right now uh, with regards to what we have with surcharge as a strategy, all of our automation, the feature functionalities, meeting all the compliance and PCI as well as surcharging. Uh, we feel that uh, our offering is uh, in the forefront of uh, where customers need to be today in, in trying to improve their AR efficiencies and reduce their cost. Sure, sure. And uh, well, as we wrap up, tell me a little bit about uh, your session that you're going to be giving on the 30th. Yes. First of all, we really appreciate the opportunity. We're looking forward to speaking with everyone and providing the demonstration. Uh, and it's going to be that. We're going to have a general conversation like you and I are having right now, just kind of rehashing some of the things I've already shared with who we are, why we're doing this, our mission, and then even talk about uh, some of our existing customers and uh, the wonderful um, efficiencies and measurables they've been able to see. And we're going to start at a point uh, within uh, showing the demonstration that we've already done the installation within uh, the customer's P21 system. And here's the good thing, Brad, with respects to the installation. Our installation takes maybe 30 to 45 minutes. That's right. it. So once the software uh, is installed and we can communicate back and forth to one another, we're then able to read from the customer's ERP system, pull invoice data out, send those invoices out to their customer uh, uh, under a URL of that company. So it looks like it's coming from that company. And that's where we're gonna start the demo. We're gonna start the demo as like, your customer has now received an invoice Here's what they're going to see. Here's how they're going to make payments. And here's how this, once they make the payment, it's going to flow back into your P21 system and automatically post into your cash application. And then obviously there'll be lots of good questions from the, uh, from the folks that are going to be attending the demo session. And we look forward to answering those. Sure, sure. I like that. Like the idea of what's the customer's perspective on that. That does a lot, I think. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Well, Keith, first off, well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today and uh, give us a little uh, preview of, of what's coming. Uh, looking forward to talking with you and then the rest of our partners and then uh, hopefully helping our expanded customer base to help uh, make their systems more, more efficient and effective. Um, so your session, Unified Payments Group uh, session titled AR Automation for P21, Bringing Margin Efficiencies and Innovation to Life. This will be on November 30th. Um, Unified session will be at three o'clock uh, Eastern time. And well, thanks again, Keith. Looking forward to seeing you on the 30th. Brad, it's been my pleasure. Thank you so much. We look forward to November 30th. Have a great day. You too. Thanks. Goodbye.